So I did a quick search on passive income ideas, and this is what I got. Notice what they all have in common. How can it be passive if you have that many income streams to manage? Ali's video was the most objective because in his video, he covers how hard it is to get started, how hard it is to make $100 a month from it, and how hard it is to maintain once you've created the thing in the first place. Ali mentioned nine ideas that he personally used to generate passive income. But there is one asset type that he's not using that is truly passive. In fact, this is what the wealthy invest into and so can you. So instead of seven, nine, 22 different kinds of income streams, you can have seven, nine, 22 income streams of the same kind. So what is this income stream that I'm referring to with the least amount of work to maintain it and it is as passive as they come? It is passively investing in real estate syndication. So how is real estate syndication better than nine diversified passive income streams? Yes, it is one type, but you can be invested in multiple properties and each of those properties are income stream of its own. So why are the wealthy attracted to this kind of income stream? Well, that's because this asset type provides amazing returns, incredible tax benefits, and it requires the least amount of time commitment. That makes this asset type an ideal investment option for a doctor, a lawyer, or a business owner who is looking for supplementary income. By no means I'm saying this is a zero effort investment. The homework for the passive investor is to screen the operators they will be investing with because it is the operators who is responsible for implementing the business plan. Every time these investors have enough to invest in a syndication, they just reach out to their favorite operator or sponsor and invest in their next deal. Well, in real estate syndication, you do have that compounding effort. And this is what it looks like. If I'm invested in one property, the lessons I learned on what worked and what didn't work on that property can be applied on my next opportunity. So let's quickly go over how you can make 100000 using a real live deal. Okay, so this is an 88 unit property in Tempe, Arizona. And the only reason I'm able to share the details of this deal is that it is a 506C offering. Don't worry if you don't know what that is. I made a video all about it and I'll link it in the description below. Check it out after this video. All right, let's look at some photos. Okay, okay, well, that's neat. It has a pool. Now this deal has a minimum investment requirement of 50,000. If you look down here, we can see the project returns. As a passive investor, I can choose between these three packages or classes. This class A package is like a debt structure. That just means I'm investing $50,000 with a 9% interest rate over five years. The difference between class A and investors who invest in class B or C is that class A does not partake in the proceeds from sale. What this percentage means is that 70% goes to the limited partners or passive investors and 30% goes to the general partners or the operators. That is why investors who opt for class C investment have the highest annualized return because they take 80% of the upside. But knowing what to invest in is only half the battle. You see, real estate moves in cycles. And depending where we are in the cycle, you'll need to adjust your strategy accordingly. And it is exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video right here. I'm going to discuss what strategy you need to take in a shifting market.